and we're at Enniskere. Just beside Parish Court. And we're going to cross over the Cookstown River. And there's not much flow on because uh, there's water down there. It has been so dry. An awful lot of bodily out. And this village uh, totally involved with Parish Court Estate. And here's the town clock. Now this is some piece of architecture. And this is Max Bar. It's from MDCCC XL and three. I'm not too sure what that means. We'll see. I'm just going over to see if there's an inscription at the bottom of this. I've never seen anything quite like this in a village centre. Doesn't appear to be any other signage. No, nothing. greenery around this house or number of houses. We've got Kingfisher Kitchen. And we've got an Irish telephone box. And I don't think it's working any longer. In fact it isn't. And we've got Paris Court Pearl Bell Hall and Poppy's Cafe. And we're in the Kingfisher's Kitchen Cafe. And this is a green post box. That was made in Carron in Scotland. And this is how you know you're in the Republic of Ireland. You get green post boxes here, whereas in Northern Ireland they're red. It's a remarkable structure. Never seen anything like it. And this was at one time on the roundabout. So the wee fella in the restaurant said, 
You can see how that worked out. But it's now uh, used for for parking and for this restaurant. Poppies. <laughs> and there's the wee doorway entrance for the man who fixes the clock. And I'll check up what those letters all come to. Those Latin letters. I've just worked out what the date on this is. Thinking in terms of M being a thousand, D being five hundred, C being one hundred each, so there's eighteen hundred and ten. Eighteen hundred and ten and an L is five. I think no maybe maybe an L isn't five. But we're taking it as five. So eighteen hundred and fifteen and three eighteen hundred and eighteen. What an L is. There's some quaint houses across the road here. Antiques gift and art up the street here. This is the parting glass. There's your traditional hairdressers. That's, that's a fabulous house. Don't see many like that about anymore. Bit of history with this place. And that's really the end of the village. There's the Garda station. It's quite amazing how in the south, even the small villages have retained a police presence while in the north or Northern Ireland, the police have abandoned the people and no longer live amongst us. How can they do it down here? And we can't do it. Anyway, and this is the schoolhouse for art. And a note up above it that this old schoolhouse Old National Schoolhouse, I presume, it dates from 1818, would you believe? And it's a uh, art workshop. And there's Swan. And I don't know what this is here. Ah, it's an uh, African face. Oh, very good. Good job. So that's goodbye to Inniscary. This is Park 
It's Parish Court Country House. And I've just noticed down at the corner here, I find it scary. There's a wee area set aside, and this is known as Plowman's Corner, and this is Charlie Keegan's seat at Plowman's Corner. Why is it called Plowman Corner? Because it was erected by Wicklow County, plowing in order of, in honour of Charlie Keegan from Enniskerry, the first Irishman to win a world plowing contest in Austria in 1964. Also Willie Murphy and Ronnie Shane who also represented Ireland. Isn't that great? Super duper. We've got a history for you about plowing and the boys remembered from Enniskerry.